What I'm going to show you in this demonstration is how to cut a window mount with a title box. Um, you can do most of the cutting with the stops on the machine, um, but when we start talking about large amounts, you have to start drawing freehand because you go off the scale of the of the gauges on the machine. So this is what we're going to produce. Worked out a window, a 20 by 60 millimeter title box in the center at the bottom. What we actually have here is 50 millimeters on the sides, 60 on the bottom with our title box in the middle. The first thing I'm going to do is draw out where the title box is going to go. Now we can use the mount cutter as a drawing board and we can do our marking out on the machine. So the bottom of the title box is 20 millimeters from the bottom. I use the pencil at a bit of an angle because the blade cuts about a millimeter from the edge. So if you draw it directly on the edge, you're going to be slightly out when it comes to cutting. So I just use the pencil, propelling pencil, because you don't want to get too much lead on the edge of the blade either. So draw a line. Title box is 20 millimeters deep, so I've just extended it to 40, which gives us the 20 plus the 20. And I've worked out to give us a 60 millimeter box in the middle, we need to come in 95 millimeters from the edge. So I've set it to 95 millimeters. And I'm going to do a long pencil line because it just makes it much more accurate when we come to do the cut. And there we've marked out our title box. The bit we're going to cut out, I'm going to put a cross. And that's the bit that's going to fall out. The other thing I like to mark is the corners where we're starting and stopping. When it comes to cutting, the tricky one is the top of the title box. It's not so bad with this size of board, with larger boards, we go off the scale. So I'm going to cut all this freehand, not using the stops on the machine. Just going to back the mat guide off. And I'm going to start with the bottom. When you're cutting, the cross, the piece you want to fall out, must be under the cutting bar. If you can see it, your bevel's going to be going the wrong way. So I'm just lining up the pencil line with the edge of the cutting bar and I've got about a millimeter gap there again because the blade is cutting slightly away from me. You can just touch the blade on the pencil line just to check it's in the right position. Now because we're not using the stops there's two ways of cutting. You can use the finger guide or there is a little notch on the side of the cut cartridge that holds the blade. You can use either as a guide. When you're cutting without using the stops, you can use the finger gauge. When I was doing some test cuts, and it's well worth doing a little bit of practice just to find out where it's slightly under or over cutting. On the start of the cut, I found it was slightly over cutting and on the finish, slightly under cutting. So using the finger gauge, because it's overcutting, I'm going to come about two millimeters past the line, push the blade in, and because it was undercutting, I'm going to take the gauge at two millimeters past. And then we go round. Again, just checking the blades on the line. 
starting just past the mark and just coming past with the finger gauge. Always making sure the bit that's going to fall out is under the cutting arm. Again, just past the line and then just going past the line. And the last cut. That's nearly there, it's slightly undercutting. It's always better to slightly undercut than overcut. If you just need to cut the last little bit, if you get a blade, you don't need any pressure. Just let the bevel take the angle and just pull it into the corner. And we do the same. And then just go around the corners. Just pull it gently into the corner. That one was good, that didn't need doing. So you don't need any pressure and you let the bevel take the angle. Let's take it into the corner, there we go. And there's the title box cut. And then we just cut the window as we would normally.